Hey folks, Chuck Lavazzi here. Welcome to Chuck's Culture Channel. And right now I am virtually at the Blue Strawberry Showroom in St. Louis. Let me just move my head a bit so you can see more of it. And the reason I'm here virtually is because this is where Roger Schmelzer, the Indianapolis-based singer, is going to be for real on Saturday, December 3rd with his show, An Evening of Heart and Soul. It's a show that conveys a message of hope, kindness, and optimism, takes audiences on a journey back to Old World New York Cabaret. And he's got one of the mainstays of Old World New York Cabaret as his director, none other than the legendary Marilyn May, one of the great performers of the New York scene. And on the piano, his music director, Jeffrey Harris, Best known for his work with Mario McGovern, but he has also worked with Leah Salonga, Jack Jones, and, of course, Marilyn May. Roger made his critically acclaimed New York solo debut in 2017 and has been going strong since then. And if you want to get some idea of what you might see when you come on December 3rd, here's just a little bit of video from his YouTube site. <laughs> It's a grand night for singing, the moon is flying high, and somewhere a bird who's bound to be heard is throwing his heart at the sky. What would you do if I sang out a tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? She loves me, and to my amazement, I love it, knowing that she loves me. She loves me, true she doesn't show it How could she, when she doesn't know it? I won't dance, don't ask me I won't dance, don't ask me I won't dance, my dear, with you My heart won't let my feet do things that they should do Find that day by day you're making all my dreams come true And come what may I want you to know I'm yours alone I took a trip on a train And I thought about you a shadowy lane and I thought about you. Okay, so that gives you a little idea of what you can expect when Roger Schmelzer brings his show to the Blue Strawberry here in St. Louis. And here's Roger right now on his iPhone from New York. <laughs> Hi, Chuck. How are you? I am just fine. Good to see you again. Uh, been quite a while since we've seen each other in person. I remember coming last year to seeing you at uh, Jazz St. Louis. I mean, I, you were at Jazz St. Louis when I was there. Yeah, for a show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And now you're going to be at the Blue Strawberry here in St. Louis. You're bringing your show. And mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about what we can expect from the show. I mean, I've already given folks a title and a brief mm -hmm. description. So what, uh, how would you describe the main theme of the, of the show you're doing? Hopefulness, optimism. Uh, music as a way to uh, solve our, our daily uh, toils and wounds. Um, mm -hmm. It, uh, you know, it started out as a show that uh, I, I worked on uh, with Marilyn May a number of years ago, and uh, we have we have continually fine tuned it. And now it's got a little bit of a post COVID tint to it uh, in a very hopeful sort of way, trying to say, mm -hmm. you know, life, life goes on, doesn't it? Oh, blood, deal, oh, blood, die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So this is going to be mostly uh, Great American Songbook type stuff, or is it a mix of, uh, of genres or what? We, it's mostly American Songbook. We do have okay. a couple of songs that are, that are songs that I know that I really like a lot that I think fit this whole, this genre that I'm trying to, that I'm trying to create. Uh, but uh you know they're not jazzy they're they're a little bit of folk to it a little bit of just pop music mm -hmm. uh but the mostly will be songs people know not not entirely but mostly it's a journey back to old world new york cabaret so uh what does yeah. old world new york cabaret mean for folks who well you know i think that's uh, sort of it's almost more of a nightclub act than it is a cabaret 
Okay. Uh, it's right. It's, uh, you know, I, I didn't do like a night of uh, Johnny Mercer songs or something like that. This is, these are songs that uh, I think you would, you could hear uh, reasonably in a, in a nightclub setting. Mm -hmm. uh, and I try to put a cabaret spin on it, try to link them together uh, stories and, and experiences and, and that sort of thing. But I don't talk too much about myself. I have to be honest. I mean, I just, I, it's more observation uh, mm -hmm. observation, like, uh, these are things that, that matter in life. And as I say, in one place, you know, we're going to, these are the best things that matter, uh, that are important that last. Uh, and of course, you know, it's built a lot around love. Well, <laughs> the whole great American songbook is so yeah, that seems right. appropriate. Well, and of course, cabaret does not need to be an autobiographical genre anyway. No. Some of the best ones I've seen weren't anything like that. So yeah, I think people, you know, to a certain extent, I think if you throw in a little bit of your own experiences uh, and how you look at life and why you selected a particular song, I think that's good enough. Mm -hmm. But when you're starting to talk about what you did when you were 21 years old and, and uh, you know, what you were thinking in your, your last day of college, I, I think that's probably a little much, unless you're, you know, a name. Uh, and uh, so I, I try not to, not to overdo that too much. And I want to leave everybody yeah. with a message. Um, a message that says, you know, we should be hopeful uh, and we should be confident. Well, we, we need a message of hope and confidence right now. God knows. Yes. So that's great. Uh, and of course, uh, you, you are being directed by Marilyn May, who talk about Old World New York Cabaret is perhaps the epitome of living cabaret legend right now. She's going to be 95 this year and she's still performing. Right. Just saw her a couple of weeks ago here in St. Louis with a big band and she was terrific. So uh, what's it like being directed by someone like that? Because she's just one of the, the luminaries. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty fantastic feeling. Uh, she gives you everything she has. Everything you see on stage is truly what you get in a rehearsal room. But I should say that actually the other way. Everything you get in a rehearsal room is what you see on stage. Uh, she's just, she is giving you who she is. Uh, mm -hmm. She's funny as hell all the time. Yes, um, she cares. Uh, she uh, she's she's got things to tell you uh, that you just her what she said to me once. She says, "You know, have confidence in our act. Don't change those lyrics." Uh, and uh, <laughs> that that was that was great advice at that particular time. And and it applies to other aspects of life. I've told her that a number of times. I said, "You know, I, I've learned." so much from you that I can use every day, not just uh, when I'm on stage. And, and so it's, it's, a, it's a pretty phenomenal experience. And your music director on this show is one of the big time established pros anyway, right? It's uh, Jeff Harris, who- uh, <laughs> Jeff has, has been around for a long time. Yeah. And, and, I mean, and has done a lot of great work with some great singers. Started out as the music director for Jack Jones a number of years oh, ago. Okay. And- uh, Leia Salonga is somebody he has worked with, and but he's most prominently uh, uh, linked with uh, Maureen McGovern. Another yeah, really big name in the cabaret field. And he has also played uh, for Marilyn as well. Has and, he not? and he has played for Marilyn and he's done a lot of, and that's how I met him was through Marilyn, uh, through my, my lessons and, and uh, working on this cabaret show five or six years ago with, with her. And she brought Jeff in. We were just a click. Uh, and it's, it's been, it's, he, he's great to work with too. Now, Roger, you're in, you're in uh, New York right now, but, and, and in fact, you've done a lot of work in New York, but uh, you're based in Indianapolis, right? Indianapolis, Indiana. That's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you're based uh, here in the Midwest. How, how does that, uh, how does that work? Cause that's really, that's really quite a, quite a stretch. It seems to me. Well, of course, you know, I, it, I, I, Everything I've done musically started in the Midwest, uh, started mm -hmm. at the uh, the uh, cabaret conference in Chicago 14, 15 years ago. Uh -huh. uh, that's where I met Tim Schall. Uh, right. And then coming to the cabaret conference in St. Louis a couple of years again, Tim, uh, mm -hmm. you. Which we have uh, both done together, yeah. Yes. Um, and uh, so, I mean, I, I just owe all, owe all of my, my musical uh, work uh, to the Midwest. Uh, so it, 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 it's, it's funny. I mean, you can attest to this, I'm sure, Chuck, is when you, when you get tuned into this and mm -hmm. you start to feel like, yeah, I can, I can learn those words. I can hit those notes. I can do a song that, that works for me and, uh, and, and that people will like. You start, you want to do more of it. 
And yes. uh, I, I just have I just have stuck with it uh, ever since then. Now I also have a full time job and a family and, and and lots of other things. So I mean, it's not like I can go out on the road twenty weeks a year. Not that anybody yeah. would want me to, but but I can do. It, it does give me an opportunity. I have some flexibility that I can come and, and come to St. Louis. And, um, and Jim and I have, Jim Dolan and I have been trying to get this. I think this is our third schedule, third date mm. for this. I mean, we were, we were going to do this in spring of 2020, fall oh, of 2020. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that we had a date in 2021. Uh, but then I think we looked at a couple of dates this year and, and <laughs> December 3rd, it's about the last possible date you can get into December. So um, I, I appreciated Jim's uh, patience with this. And it's great to have a, have a venue like the Blue Strawberry in the Midwest uh, where, you can, where you can do this. Yeah, in fact, that's, of course, as I mentioned in the intro, that's what's behind me right now is the, uh, there we go, is, is the, the stage of the Blue Strawberry, uh, which is kind of our leading showroom slash cabaret room here in st louis and i have not been there yet so i mean even to see a show so i'm dying to to get over there and, and check out the space and i'm familiar with jim's other work that he's done mm -hmm. in other venues but, but i haven't been to this one yet yeah well i uh, i think you will appreciate it uh, i as you know i host a monthly open mic there and uh great space great space good people i think you and the audience more to the point will have a great time when they're there how did you get started doing this? Was it just you, you came to a, a, a conference and it just clicked? Well, it was before that. I, uh, I've, okay. I've been very active in community theater in Indianapolis for a long oh. time. Okay. Not so much in the last 10 or 12 years um, when I, my interest really shifted more to, to uh, solo uh, cabaret performing. Uh, but I did a lot of really good shows, or at least I thought they were good. I had a lot of good leading roles uh, in Indianapolis, and, um, learned a lot of this music because of that, you know, and I've got a couple of songs in the show that come out of those experiences and uh, not, I don't talk about that. This, that was also kind of fun is taking songs that I learned in a, in a theater setting and saying, I really like these songs. What can I do mm -hmm. with them uh, as a solo performer? So we've got a couple of those. And um, I also did some uh, solo cabaret work in the 90s at a, at a venue in Indianapolis. Uh, and so I really, you know, that's where I really stepped out to try to figure out how I could do this. Okay. Uh, and uh, from there, just uh, look for opportunities to, 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 uh, to do more and to grow. Okay, that's great. I mean, I, I really strongly feel that uh, theater is an excellent background on which you can build cabaret i mean that's how i got into it myself it's the same sort mm -hmm. of thing i've been an actor for for many years so yeah i uh that's uh that's a great route in so you're going to be here on december 3rd at yes. the Blue strawberry and uh folks you know if you want to know anything about where to get tickets or any other information right down here is a video description field you will see everything you need to know right down there about roger's show Roger, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about your show at the Blue Strawberry. I, I hope it really goes well. You know, uh, break a tonsil or whatever. Okay, <laughs> I think it'll be well, well, I'll try not to do that, but uh, yeah, I, definitely, <laughs> I, I appreciate it a lot. And, and this is awfully nice of you to do. Uh, I, I, I appreciate it. There's not many uh, local, uh, not many communities uh, in uh, the country, I think, that have the kind of cabaret community that uh, an entertainment community that St. Louis does. And I yes. appreciate everybody's investment in it. Uh, and I'm, I'm just glad to be part of it. Well, and we appreciate you supporting it as well, Roger. So thanks very much. Okay, that's it. that's it for this edition of Chuck's Culture Channel. Um, remember, share us on the anti-social networks and let everybody know about Chuck's Culture Channel. And please tune in next time. Bye-bye.